Hi everyone, this is a medium difficulty GMAT problem solving practice question, a permutation combination question, a very interesting question. Let's take a look at it. How many six digit positive integers comprising only the digits one or two? So combination of one and two is possible, right? Something like one, two, one, two, one, two is okay. All of them being ones is okay. All of them being twos is okay, right? Can be formed such that the number is divisible by three. Right. What is the test of divisibility for 3? Let's start with the test of divisibility for 3 is that the sum of the digits should be divisible by 3. Sum of digits should be divisible by 3. We have a 6 digit number that should be formed using the digits 1 or 2. Let's start with the possibility of checking out. Will all of them being 1s, will such a number be divisible by 3? Right. I'll talk it as possibility 1. It works. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Right. This number, the sum of the digits is 6. So it basically passes the muster. It is divisible by 3. If all of them are basically 2s, it will still work because 6 times 2 is a 12. Therefore, it works. So possibility 2 is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. This is the sum of the digits is 12, which is divisible by 3. So this number is divisible by 3. So both of these pass the muster. Now look at it. We'll now see, we'll replace these 1s in this with a 2 and see whether it will make sense. We'll have 5 1s and a 2. What have we done? We have essentially kept 5. It was initially a 6. By making this 1, 1 as a 2, we have added one more to it. So some of the digits is no longer six, it becomes a seven. So just having one, two and five ones is not going to make that number to be a number which is divisible by three. Let's check out what happens if it is like, I'll look at this possibility, right? So one, 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 two, two. Will this make sense? Essentially one, 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 all of them being ones worked. I've converted two of these ones into twos, which means I've added two more to it. So the sum initially was six, now it becomes eight. So it's not going to work. This is not going to work, right? So will this not work? Some of the digits is not divisible by 3. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2. Will this work? It will. For the simple reason, 1 added up and say 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. 9 is divisible by 3. What you have done is, we have essentially converted 3 of these 1s into 2s. So we added 1, 1, 1. So we added a 3 more to it. Initially, it was a 6. We are adding 3 more. Any multiple of 3 to 6, it's going to be divisible by a number which is divisible by 3. It's going to become a number that is divisible by 3. So this will pass the muster. Now if I make 1 more as 2, I'm adding 1, not enough. 1 more as 2, not enough. Add all of them as, make all of them as 2s, it will work. So the possibilities of numbers forgetting the rearrangements that will be divisible by 3 using 1s and 2s will be when all of them are 1s, all of them are 2s or the third possibility is 3 of these numbers are 1s, 3 of these digits are 1s and 3 of these digits are 2s. How many ways can we, how many different 6 digit positive integers can be formed by reordering the digits of triple 1, triple 2 including triple 1 and triple 2. Essentially we have a 6 digit number so 6 factorial, 3 of these are 1's so 3 factorial we will have to divide it by, 3 of these are 2's so let's divide it by 1 more 3 factorial, 6 factorial is a 720, 3 factorial is a 6 times 6, 720 divided by 36 that is equal to 20. We have 20 such numbers which are triple 1, triple 2 reorderings. We had one number which basically passed the muster, which is a, all of them being ones. One number, all of them being twos. So one plus one, two such numbers plus 20 in this third possibility. No more possibilities exist. So one plus one plus 20. That makes it as a total of 22 such numbers. So 22 six digit numbers can be formed using the digits one or two such that the number is divisible by three. Choice C is the correct answer to this question. Let's look at a bonus question for this one too. The bonus question reads as follows. How many six digit positive integers comprising only the digits one or two can be formed? Like no constraints, no divisibility, nothing. A very simple question. How many six digit numbers can be formed which comprises the digits one or two? So all of them can be ones, all of them can be twos, five twos and one one, anything is possible. So here are the five answer options. Pick the one that makes sense and post your answer to the comment section of this video. Best wishes.